Welcome to the second video of the BCC 2020 series. Today we're addressing the second question, which is called library books. Beavertown Library has only a small pile of books. When a beaver wishes to borrow a book, they take the book that is on the top of the pile and record their name. When a beaver returns their book, they place their book on the top of the pile and record their name again. Which book did Cato borrow? Charlotte's Web, Curious George, Go Dog Go, or The Hobbit? So this problem uses something we call in computer science as a stack. So what is a stack? A stack is a data structure or a system of organizing things in a form of a philo or lifo system. It is a first in, last out, or a last in, first out system. This is easily demonstrated through a stack of books or a stack of plates. When you put a plate on the top of a stack, it goes onto the top. Now when you take a plate off, you'll take the same plate off from the top. So the first plate that you went you put in, which would be at the bottom, would be the last plate you take out when you empty all of the plates off of the stack. And so how is the stack used in this question? So in this question, the stack applies to the stack of books that they have. These books are in the form of a stack. They take the top book off when they're taking a book, and when they're putting a book back, they put it back on the top. So the first book they put in, so Fox and Socks, which is at the bottom, would be the last book that comes out. Now, we are looking for which book Cato borrowed. And so we can, there's two ways we can solve this. We can go from the top of the list to the bottom of the list, or from the bottom of the list to the top of the list. Now, first we see that Alba borrowed a book. So Alba, being the first person to borrow a book, and this stack is still full with all five books, would borrow the book on the top, which is Charlotte's Web. And so now Alba has borrowed Charlotte's Web, so Charlotte's Web is no longer in the stack. Now Felix borrows a book. Now the book Felix borrows because Charlotte Webb's is no longer the stack. So there's only four books, Curious George, Go Dog Go, The Hobbit, and Fox and Socks on the stack. Felix would borrow the second book, which is Curious George, because that's now the book that's on the top. Now Alba returns the book she borrowed, and she borrowed Charlotte's Web. And so now Curious George is the only book that's been borrowed. But there's Charlotte's Web, Go Dog Go, The Hobbit, and Fox and Socks in the stack. Now Marta borrows a book, and the book that's on the top, because it was last returned, is the Charlotte's Web. And so now Charlotte's Web and the Curious George is now borrowed, and so now the top book is Go Dog Go. Now Felix returns the book he borrowed, and if we remember, Felix borrowed Curious George. And so Charlotte's Web is the only book that's been borrowed, and Curious George is now on the top of the stack because it was last returned. Now Cato borrows the book, that's at the top of the stack. And the book that's at the top of the stack was the book that was last returned. And that book was last returned by Felix. And so Felix borrowed Curious George. So therefore, Cato would also borrow Curious George. And that would be answer B. But there is a much faster way to solve this problem. If we go from the bottom to the top, we see that Cato was the last one to borrow a book. And Cato is the one that we care about. Now Cato borrows the book that's at the top of the stack. And what book will end up as the top of the stack? The one that's last returned. And Felix just returned a book right before Cato borrows a book. And so, because Felix returned a book, we don't care about what Alba and Marta did. We only care about what Felix did, because Felix has the book that we care about. Now Felix, he borrows his book in the second lines of his instructions, or list, or in the list. Now, Felix borrows the book after Alba borrows the book. And since Alba's the first person, and she's the only person to borrow a book or return a book before, she borrows Charlotte's Web. So now Charlotte's Web is no longer in this stack. Now, Felix borrows a book, and the next book would be Curious George. And so, when Felix returns his book, he'll return Curious George. And since Cato takes a book that's just been put onto the top of the stack, Cato would take Curious George, and this gives us the same answer as before, but it's a much more efficient way to solve this problem. 
In many contests, efficiency is a key to solving all the questions and it's, it helps give you more time to help solve problems that you may not be as sure about. So when you're solving problems, always look for the most efficient solution when you're trying to solve it. And so in this question, we learned about stacks and what they are and how they're a Philo or LIFO system where the last object you put in is the first one you take out. We also learned that going from the bottom to the top could save you time. And this is something that you might use very often in a, in a contest as sometimes questions may seem extremely complex going from one direction, but if you look at it from another view, it may seem extremely simple. So the answer to this problem is Curious George. Now, if you enjoyed this video and how I explained this question, and if you would like to see more content, please leave a like down below, leave it in the comments. If you have any other questions, be sure to leave it in the comments. Uh, if you have any other cool strategies that you'd like to you that you know how to use for this question, uh, you can leave that in the comments. If you want to see more content, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and thank you very much. Have a very nice day.